West Dorset to, to stand by, and I'm very pleased that uh, having been a graduate of Newcastle University in the days when you couldn't find Liberals anywhere in the, in the city, that I'm now calling Councillor Liz Langfield, the Executive Member for Adult Care and Health in the Liberal-run Council. Thank you. Thank you, Conference. I'm, I'm not a service daughter, except my dad fought during the war, like most people did. Um, but all my life, I have worked alongside, studied alongside, lived alongside people who are involved with the services. And I have to say that I am so enormously in, in awe of their work, their sacrifices, and their commitment to what they do for us. Marquis of Granby, Duke of Clarence. No, I haven't subverted this to the Save Our Pubs talk. Those men raised regiments and they gave a bounty to the older soldiers and the injured soldiers so that they could buy a pub, an inn, a hostelry. Why? Because they were fulfilling the military covenant because they recognised that they owed something to the men who had fought and been injured in their service 200 and 300 years ago. And they asked them to, to name the pub after them. What they were giving them was the potential to earn a living throughout the remainder of their lives, the potential to provide a home for their families and themselves the potential to provide employment for other people, possibly other uh, combatants, colleagues, uh, comrades. And by saying, and name the, the pub or inn after me, they ensured that any passing trade who said, oh, Marquis of Granby must be a connection with the regiment, I'll go there, I'll stay there, I'll drink there, I'll eat there. It was advertising before advertising was even thought of. That was a fulfilment of the military covenant. What have we had in the last 30 years? Well, actually, we've had two prime ministers who want to think themselves as wartime leaders. Will you ever forget the headscarf, the goggles, and the tank on Salisbury Plain? Me, me, and mine. Because sending people off to the Falklands War that was fine, but when we had the, the Thanksgiving services, remember that men who, predominantly men at that time, men who had been injured and maimed during that war were not permitted to attend those services because they didn't want the sight of those injured men to put the rest of us off. That was how committed they were to the military covenant then. And then we had we are a grandmother. I'm concerned about my family, but I don't give much about yours. Then think of our more recent wartime leader, whose, whose distressed wife was so concerned about sending her son off to Bristol. Well, she might not have been so concerned about Bristol now, because we run it. But at that... <laughs> but, at, but remember that they were concerned about their son going to Bristol while he was busy sending young men out to Iraq. Me, me and mine. Lib Dems are about us, us and ours. We recognise the importance of our troops fighting our wars elsewhere in the world. We recognise the importance of making sure that when those men and women come home that they have decent housing, decent jobs, decent training opportunities, decent health care and all of the things that are in both of the amendments and in the motion. And therefore, I urge Conference to support both amendments and the motion to demonstrate that we are the party that will fulfil the military covenant. We are the party that cares about our service personnel, unlike the other two parties, to their undying shame. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Liz. Uh... I forgot to mention that uh, Liz is a first-time speaker at conference, and I'm sure of the quality of her speeches, she'll be called to speak many times again. Uh, can I ask Colonel Terry Scriven to please stand by to...